Happy Friday, everybody. If you're new to my channel, you know I give everybody my cell phone number, 713-360-0430. Please text me if you want. I was texting with some people and I asked them what TV show or movie I should react to for today's video. And I got a couple of answers about the show Community Season 1, Episode 5 called Advanced criminal law. So that's what we're going to be reacting to today. For those of you who don't know, like myself, community takes place at a community college, which is important. The grade level is actually important, which we'll get into in a little bit. And as always, please forgive me. I have to put these 1980 style Walkman earphones in my ear because my computer doesn't have a speaker. So this is how I have to listen to the video. Without further ado, College. This is your dean reminding you that among your school's prestigious alumni is Mr. Luis Guzman, celebrated actor and John Oliver. Puerto Rican American. This Friday, we will be dedicating a statue of Guzman and unveiling our brand new school song. So, boy, I don't know about you, but this sure feels like a real college to me. Ah! Morning. Uh, how is student life, my dry witted friend? Probably the same as teacher life, but less tragic because I get to leave. Very dry, very witty, not a great friend. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to ask you about that young lady in your Spanish class. You know, the blonde with the with the pouty, strident, Cape Blanchett sexuality and the ridiculous name. Britta. <laughs> Imagine living with that. You know, unbelievable. Anyway, um, are you to an item? And if so, would that item be impervious to sabotage? You know, you have the savoir-faire about... Okay, so really quick, John Oliver's character is a teacher. And regardless of the age of the school, it's very inappropriate for a teacher to be trying to make an advance on a student. So right off the bat, we're seeing some things that could get the school and John Oliver and his character in legal trouble. Let's keep going. A hyena. How is it that you and James Bond come from the same island? Message received. I'll just wait for you to finish striking out first. Cheers. Mesh. Faulty Towers. Game over. Have a nice day. Do you think Louis Guzman will ever come to visit a statue? It's Donald Glover. So, I'd like to ask him about his movie choice. It's a lot of people. John Oliver? Donald way, Glover? The hard way, and Q&A. Yeah, Louis Kevin rethinks his marriage. I'll give you my number if you promise not to use it in any other context than friendship. Uh, pass. Silencio. Dr. Kim! That means you. My name's Alex, dude. Well, maybe you should spend five hours sculpting that in your face. All right. Last time I graded your test. Hey! I'm sure you want to know how you did, right? Well, She's awesome also. You. What's her name? So I find out who Put her did. name right here. This! What is that? It's a cheat it's a sheet. Piece Somebody piece cheated. Piece Someone piece cheated on the test. Containing all the information covered on the test otherwise known as a crib sheet. Who did it? Huh? Marianne? Grandpa? Chevy Chase? Okay. Kumar? There's one Asian stereotype that does apply to me. Whoever did this insulted my honor, and they've got 24 hours to come forward or Mr. Miyagi here will wax off everyone's score and the whole class gets a zero. Except you, Toby. Okay, so can a teacher fail the entire class for one person cheating? And that answer is actually probably. But I will say this. Okay, two things I want to bring up. Number one, is it illegal to cheat on a test? And technically, no, it's not. You're not breaking any laws. You're not going to go to jail. You're not going to get a criminal ticket for it but you are breaking the school's academic policy and they have the right to punish you for that. That could be anything from a zero on the test to being suspended to even being expelled. But I will say this, generally when this happens, the university or high school steps in to correct this issue with the other students and overrides the teacher because it's not fair for the other students, especially you might have a really hardworking student or students in that class whose entire academic record could be ruined by that. But just as it's not technically illegal for you to cheat on a test, it is not technically illegal for a teacher to fail the entire class. But again, all those actions come with consequences. That teacher may face disciplinary action just as the cheating student would. All right, let's keep going. 
So, this is the last chance for the cheater to be an adult and face la musica, or everyone fails. No! You've got 10 seconds, starting now. There you go. The pressure, he caved. Oh, never mind. I did it. Oh, wow. Really took your sweet time with that one, babe. How dare you terrorize a class by threatening their grades? It's not that easy to get human beings to turn on each other. Turn on her! Are you mature? That's right. We are mature. Too mature to sit in a class with a cheating line poop face. Okay, time to learn some formal greetings. Bum today. What do you think they're gonna do to me? Well, we're not gonna buy you an ice cream. Hi, Dean Pelton. <laughs> Quite an entrance I got to make there. You would be Britta Perry. I just spoke with Senior Chang, and I'm afraid Greendale takes this kind of thing very seriously. Much like a university would. Your case will be reviewed by a disciplinary tribunal tomorrow in Borchardt Hall. You could be facing expulsion. Isn't Borchardt Hall the pool? <laughs> there is an Olympic-sized pool there, yes, but we will be next to it using its $6,000 judges table. Uh, is she allowed to have counsel? I mean, I may yes. not be a practicing lawyer anymore, but- Hey, he's a lawyer. Play some Alan Dershowitz. Oh, okay, <sighs> ouch, and yes, if you'd like, you may represent her. Dean you later. I'm not gonna sit while some- <laughs> All right, so apparently Jeff is a lawyer. So that's cool. Or he was a lawyer. A few things I want to say about this. Number one, disciplinary tribunal. When you get in trouble and you are facing expulsion or suspension, depending on the state and level of education you're in, you are required to go to a disciplinary tribunal who is tasked with making that determination. Now, who consists of that tribunal? It just depends. It can range anywhere from a single individual decision maker who sits on the tribunal who has unlimited authority in that instance, or it could be a board of three, five, or seven people who vote on what decision to take. Like I said, it's just going to depend. But the most important thing when you go in front of an educational disciplinary tribunal is that the parties who are on the board are disinterested, meaning they don't have a conflict of interest, they are neutral to the event. Number two, you are allowed to have counsel at these events, and I highly recommend you hire counsel if you ever find yourself in this situation. This is what educational lawyers do. All right, let's keep going. Hokey tribunal gets its jollies judging me. Hey, if you show up with me, follow my lead, and deny everything, you'll walk. That's the winger guarantee. Oh, I get it. You think you're gonna save my bacon using your lawyer powers and send me into fits of grateful arousal. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Two things really quick. It is totally inappropriate for a lawyer to guarantee results. We can never guarantee results. The answer is always, it depends, but I'm going to zealously advocate for you and do my best. Second, it's also very inappropriate for a lawyer, I guess he's a former lawyer, but still he's representing her as counsel, which actually I don't think he can do if he's not a lawyer anymore but inappropriate for a lawyer who representing someone in a formal capacity to have a sexual relationship with their client which he is blatantly trying to do so again lots of legal inaccuracies let's keep going see how good i am all right uh, i'm convening this disciplinary tribunal at our state-of-the-art judges table which has its own built-in sound system so take that yale Okay, first of all, Dr. Kim, or I guess here, Senor Chang? I can't read that. Dr. Kim, the actor, plays the Spanish teacher, is sitting on the tribunal. Remember what I just said. You cannot have a conflict of interest. He or she allegedly cheated in his class. Therefore, he should automatically be disqualified from casting a vote in this instance. Now, he can be there as a witness, but he cannot sit at the judge's table. <laughs> Our judges include uh, myself, uh, Dean Craig Pelton. Professor Ian Duncan. Professor Ben Chang. Uh, no, you're a teacher, you are not a professor. Well, maybe because I don't look like Ron Weasley. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the qualifying factor. Gentlemen, point of order. How can Senior Chang be one of the judges? He's the yeah. one accusing my client. Well, yeah, That's a good Prince point. Charles over here is your drinking buddy. Oh, hmm. got me. Well, it sounds like there are two biases. 
one on each side, and I go both ways. Oh, let's strike that. LaShonda, can we please strike that? I am impartial, so it should all work out. So two wrongs don't make a right. If you have two biased panel members, you need to strike them completely and get new panel members. Okay, let's begin. Fine. Uh, the tribunal calls Teacher Chang. And then she yelled, screw you, or screw education, or something like that. Then she stormed out of the room in her high heel boots like it was tampon time. If you know what I mean. Objection, I don't know what he means. Please don't encourage him, Winger. Do you have any more questions? The defense calls Britta Perry. Now, are those the high heel boots he was talking about? Yes. Are they comfortable? Yeah. I'm just curious, they're cute. Miss Perry, did you make that crib sheet? No. She confessed. She confessed to protect her classmates because you were threatening to flunk everyone. You did what? Oh, shut your pompous vortex of overlapping. That's actually a good defense. That is plausible. And yeah, like I said, there are consequences when teachers do that. And he could very well be in trouble with the dean or the rest of the school for taking such actions. Bang. Hey, British dentistry is not on trial. Dean Pelton, I move this case be thrown out of the pool area. Well, it's certainly... <laughs> well, it certainly sounds... <laughs> ...to me that this young lady's only crime is being a hero and wanting to be taller. This tribunal is a jerk. Wait, I cheated. And we're back. Objection. My client did not cheat. Yes, I did. That's not an objection. You can't just say object, my client did not cheat. And also, she just confessed to it on the record. So, pretty cut and dry. Yes, she did. But why? That's the real question, isn't it? He doesn't. The world wasn't the only thing that changed on September 11th. Oh, oh come on. Five minute recess? No, no. There's nothing in the bylaws about recesses, all right? The wheels of justice here don't stop just for the second. Oh, no, oh, 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 Save the table. Save the table. No, I have a problem with dishonesty. You're on trial for cheating. F look, we'll be fine. I just have to go back out there and make the case that you're a good person. You don't know that. You're just doing all of this because you want to sleep with me. I mean, you said it yourself. You don't even want to be my friend. I actually believe you. Well, why wouldn't you? I don't know. I guess the same reason that I cheated. I just had more experience being worthless. I think I left that crib sheet on the floor because I wanted to get caught. I'm so used to screwing everything up. I just wanted to get it over with. Wait, I think we have our defense. Gentlemen, my client is insane. What? <laughs> okay, so the insanity defense is an affirmative defense. So essentially what you're saying is you admit to the action taking place, but they shouldn't be held responsible because the victim, or I should say the defendant, is not mentally culpable into forming a rational decision. Therefore, they didn't know what they were doing was wrong or they were in such a manic phase that they had no control over their body, something like that. There is no such thing as the affirmative defense of insanity here. So we'll just see where this goes, I guess. Gentlemen, I'm sure you suspected that Miss Perry was pretty odd before the recess. But if you could have heard all the stuff she just told me in the shower, you would realize she is all the way out of her entire damn mind. She doesn't want to succeed because she doesn't think she can. So she goes out of her way to fail. That's crazy. But do we really want to make it a crime to be crazy at Greendale? I mean, look at us. I mean, you two are arguing about status at a college that correspondence schools make fun of. Dean, you want so bad for this place to be Ivy League that you are putting us at risk of electrocution because everyone on this campus is nuts. Not me. Oh, come on, Leonard. If you're going to argue with me, put on a bathing suit. Busted. <laughs> if you want to rehabilitate your fellow inmate, you need to sentence her to staying here with us. Because if crazy people can't be at Greendale, where are we supposed to go? Under the circumstances, I recommend that the, the accused be fully exonerated. 
well, on the condition that you receive psychological counselling on a weekly basis from a trained mental health professional. Thinking maybe Fridays, nine-ish, something like that. All in favour say aye. 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 Yes. Wait, what? That just happened. Okay, so just because she wanted to fail does not mean she's insane. Actually, most states, I think about half of them, follow the monoton rule of insanity, which means that you cannot tell the difference between right and wrong. Here, Britta clearly knew it was wrong to cheat, yet she did it anyway. Therefore, she cannot plead insanity. And it's important to note she couldn't even plead insanity if we use the modeled standard test set out in the early 1960s, which essentially states that you are insane if you are in such a bad mental state that you cannot appreciate the severity or the criminality of your actions. Again, she could do both here. She knew that she was cheating. She knew it was wrong. She can't plead insanity. Also, the punishment she was given by John Oliver's character who has a crush on her is again improper in nature. The school is just a mess. Okay, that's it for today's video. I'm going to be doing a lot more reacts in the future. If you like this sort of content, please make sure you like the video, ask any questions down below, and subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot when you subscribe. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Have a good weekend.